WNBA rookies reveal the advice from their parents that carried them to the league. The WNBA draft on April 15 brought some of women's basketball's brightest stars to the big stage but they didn't get there on their own. The league's newest rookies spoke to just after discovering which team they're headed to next, revealing the advice from their parents that aided in their success. Here's how some of the WNBA's top picks responded. Former Iowa Hawkeyes superstar Caitlin Clark, who was drafted number one overall by the Indiana Fever, said some of the best advice from her parents has been to have faith in herself. Be confident, but also the biggest thing over the course of the last couple of months, soak in every single second, she said of their advice. It goes fast. This is once in a lifetime, so enjoy every single part of it. My mom is an independent mom, single mom, said former LSU forward Angel Reese. Me and my brother went to college for free. I know if we weren't playing basketball, we probably wouldn't be able to go to college free. When Reese was drafted by the Chicago Sky, the rookie said her mom was crying from the crowd. I did it for her, all of the long nights, long days, Reese added. I would drive my grandparents to Florida from Maryland, just all those long trips that we sacrificed, it was worth it. Cameron Brink, the former Stanford forward who is headed to the Los Angeles Sparks, said her family instilled in her the power of positive thinking. Your mind is your biggest tool, Brink said, adding that her family would remind her to keep attacking every day, being hungry and obviously building relationships along the way. Former South Carolina center Kamala Cardoso points to her family's sacrifice as inspiration, allowing her to leave Brazil as a teenager to play basketball in the United States. My family made a huge sacrifice, letting their young daughter chase her dream in a whole other country, she said. I didn't speak the language, I wasn't even familiar with the culture. Just by doing that, allowing me to go chase my dream, that's one huge sacrifice that my family made. Cardoso, who is headed to the sky, said on the night of the draft she felt so proud of what she accomplished with the help of her family, adding that she hopes to now give them a better life. For Marquisha Davis, the former guard at Ole Miss drafted by the New York Liberty, it was her mom who taught her the value of faith. My mom, she always told me to keep God first and that's always what I've done, she said. I'm blessed to be here. Former Ohio State guard Celeste Taylor, drafted by the Fever, said the accomplishment of making it to the WNBA is a testament to how much my parents have sacrificed. I think the biggest thing is to be who I am and, in, everything that I do, continue to be who I am, she said of the advice she received from her parents. Because I am very authentic, very genuine, very loving, and I think that has carried me so far from creating relationships to being the player that I am today. Daisha Fair, a former Syracuse guard who will join the defending champion Las Vegas Aces, also pointed to her faith and her parents for shaping who she's become. All throughout my life, I've been a big faith person. I trust in God. I think my faith has carried me. And what God has done for me has got me here, she said. My folks always say, what's for you is for you. Aaliyah Edwards, a former UConn forward who was drafted by the Washington Mystics, credits one piece of advice from her mom that assisted in her success, be selfish in my development. My mom, was my first basketball coach, as well, so you know how that goes, Edwards said with a laugh. She'd just say, be confident. Be who you are. I'm a workhorse. I always get it done, off the court, on the court, and just doing whatever I can to impact my team. Former Ohio State guard JC Sheldon, who is headed to the Dallas Wings, said her family and trainers all showed up to the draft in support. I think just the advice from them is having that killer mindset, killer instinct, and just working at that every day. Sheldon said. Obviously, today I'll enjoy, but tomorrow it's back to work and back in the gym. Former Utah forward Alyssa Pilot, who was drafted by the Minnesota Lynx, said her parents have always fought and sacrificed for their kids. My parents are huge competitors, as well, and they just want the best for their kids, 
Pili says. I think they just do everything in their power to sacrifice and get us in the best position to get us where we want to go.